I'm gonna bring up Jerry Yan, all the way from Wisconsin. Jerry Yan. And we're gonna banter with him a little bit to make sure he's comfortable with the microphone. So try the microphone out here and see if you, see if it's good for you. If not, I'm gonna give you mine. Oh. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. You should be tarped and feathered for those tampons. What are the rules? What are the rules? What are the rules? What's a pun off? What's a pun? Oh, what's the, a pun? The humorous use of a word or words in such a way as to suggest. Suggest. <laughs> or I didn't memorize this. Joel knows it. Joel. Joel McCall is going to read us the definition of a pun. A pun is the humorous use of a word in such a way as to suggest different meanings or applications or words that have the same, or nearly the same, sound, but different meanings. Okay, everybody. A pun is the humorous use of a word. A pun. Thank you, Joel. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna drive you crazy here, Jerry. It'll be another five minutes before we get you on, don't worry. Get you comfortable with the microphone. Is it, is it hot enough for you? Yeah. All right. Is it humid enough for you? All right. Here. I know warm that one Hello. Oh. All right, so, in Puttiest of Show, we don't judge people on whether or not it really is a pun. Later, we're gonna really clamp down on you about what it, whether or not it's really a pun. You're gonna to wanna to strangle some people. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna go, the judges score based on presentation, entertainment value, how cute you are, how much you bribed them, uh, whatever, whatever it is. You didn't remember to bribe the judges, didn't you? How cute you are, I might as well just take all the trophy right now. All right. Thank you, Jerry. All right, so step forward. The cameras are over here. The cameras are rolling. We got your, got your time skip. Time, What's time, that noise? Your horse scorecard, okay? Don't forget, the whistle is 90 seconds. Ignore it. Just go for the bell. <laughs> What's up, Austin? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right. I thought we had chemistry together. And I said to myself, what are you waiting for? The Esther Bunny? Either you do this or you don't. So I put my knee on the floor, reamed your house, and proposed. But you had your eye on Al, the clown rapist. That silly con, always trying to copper feel because he has a hat drawn in his pants. I mean, come on, I know I'm a little bit boron, but didn't I earn your love? Huh? I would have fought him like a Roman in a calcium for you, even though I'm not a mean guy. Right? But instead, you said, this is the solution, but all, I, I, I see nonsense right here. Yeah, you just led me along and took me for a ride. God, God am it all. It, it happened so damn quick that I barely really understood what happened. I was getting drunk off of the Irish car bonds and, and my hair was falling out because the stress was making me cobalt. And I, I tried marijuana, but it just felt like you were Achilles and I was a high Trojan. <laughs> so for the sake of my sanity, I knew that it was zinc or swim. You gave me wounds and time was not helium fast enough. <laughs> I said I made a vow to take my feelings for you and bury them in a crypt on some faraway land until they all are gone. <laughs> then one day I was planting some seeds so I could grow me a mango and some avogadros for some guacamole. But uh, you came back and you, you needed help. I said, I, I, I bit, you know, I bit my tongue stem, gave you the gold shoulder because it's none of my business anymore. <laughs> and and uh, I mean, I'm not innocent like Lisa or Bart or Magnus Yumson, but uh, when, when the rain falls in your life, you've got to lift the umbrella as high as you can. Uh, Carp DM. This is your, these are your days, so like, you gotta go out there and seize him. Fantastic. Nine, eight, eight, nine, seven. Nine, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven. Got it?